Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome to the Ren's Point of View podcast. We've got some special guests on the show today. Um, from a genre and from a background that I'm a massive, massive fan of. Um, these brothers right here do exactly what, in my dreams, I would love to be doing on a daily basis. We've got Adrian Scott from Men on Nine Productions. Yeah, man. Producer, writer. Writer. And we've got Yao Safo, actor, writer, producer. Director. Director. <laughs> sorry, I missed that. That's all right. I'm a director too. You're a director. But, sorry, sorry. But sorry. nice. Yeah. It's, 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 we wear many hats. Okay. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having man. us. Thanks for having us. Okay. First thing first, I always like to ask everyone. There's two of you. Mm. Normally it's one-on-one. -on -one, so there's, there's a question. It's two-on-one. On one. It's two-on-one on one today. So the question is, um, if you could pick who wants to go first. Yeah. Where are your parents from? Where were you born? Where did you grow up? Love that, man. That's a good question. Do you want to go first? Because I don't even know. I don't know those <laughs> want, things you about want you. To think, you want to think oh, about yeah. it. No, I know. I know, but I just haven't heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, yeah, I want to yeah. know juniors. I'm quiet, man. Okay. Not I'm today, quiet, you're not. I'm quiet sometimes. <laughs> it comes to revealing stuff. Where's your parents? I want to no, know you're this. You're you're revealed, I want to know this. Everything, just... and where you, no, reveal that. No, or, reveal it because... It's not. It's not very often I'm like really get to. How many times have you asked? Express. Have you been asked that question? That's so, a beautiful question. Yeah, I'm Ghanaian. Nice. I was born in London, South London, Lewisham. Mm -hmm. you're, you're from South, yeah. yeah See, I didn't even know. <laughs> so how come you never tell me that you're from South? Because <laughs> the question never came up. No, nah, bro, you're supposed to reveal yeah, that. You don't, you don't yeah. roll around saying yeah. No, you know, like, no one, no one ever asked you that question. There's no, there's no, uh, yeah, but he's a man that knows I'm from South, so he should oh, tell. Oh, oh, okay. So he should okay. say to me, you. "You've never said that you're from South in your life." Okay. Yeah, I was born there, Lewisham. Okay. Oh, oh. and then Kidbrook is where my family. Ah. Oh. Um, Southeast. Yeah, and Camberwell as well. My uncle's there. So. Yeah, man. Um, Ghanaian family. Uh, my name's Yao. Yeah, it's Thursday born. You get different names for different days. Yeah, yeah. Um. But everyone knows me as Junior. That's what I know you yeah, as Junior. Yeah, my dad was also called Yao as well. So okay. Yeah. Um, but fam, well, we moved to Slough. Okay. Um, I grew up, went school to school in Slough, just outside. Um, I lived in Ghana for a bit. Then got taken back there. Good. <laughs> yeah. it was supposed to be a holiday, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. But left there. But I learned the culture language and just uh just seeing the the striving it was this it was like the 90s so it wasn't as developed then so i saw real poverty and like yeah the kids kids are like so clever over there as well mm -hmm. education is is uh paramount so yeah um yeah, what else? What was, what was, what was the rest of the question? That was about it. I <laughs> think that, that was it. That was I think that was it, man. Where are your parents from? Where oh, you yeah, born? Yeah, yeah. Oh, your parents obviously from both, Ghana. Both yeah. parents gone. Ghana. Yeah. But, however, um, my uh, father birth stayed in Ghana. So, I was brought up in a household, Bayesian household. Oh. Stepdad's Bayesian. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, all my sisters are half Bayesian. <laughs> See, so. I don't know none of this stuff nah. about him, though. <laughs> I do now. Yeah, man. Of mixed upbringing, like Caribbean, African, and um, that's deep. Yeah, S being in Slough, there's quite a lot of Asians there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just different cultures all around me. Do you know what I mean? And then I even lived in Reading for a bit as well, and there's a lot of Asians in Reading. So yeah, man. Well, I get to know you today. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot there. I'll just keep it when I do my story. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so my turn. Uh, I was uh, born to a St. Lucian mother. My mum was born in Castries. Came to England in 1966, I believe. Still hasn't been back. That's another story. My dad was actually born in Battersea. Born uh, to Jamaican mum and dad. And I never met, he never met his dad or ne when he was little. But uh, So my nan's very Jamaican side. My mum's side, very St. Lucian side. Okay. I grew up in between Battersea and Streatham. Well, my all my family was in Battersea. All my dad's side of the family was in Battersea. My aunts, everybody. But my mum, 
I was actually born in Westminster okay. Hospital, London, South London, born and bred. Although I wasn't actually born in South London, but <laughs> South <laughs> London is where I was. I grew up from when I was a baby. Uh, but ultimately, I was in Streatham, uh, in a place called Mitcham Lane. Okay. Uh, but I was in Battersea as well. So I was like a, a Battersea, because all my family was in Battersea and my bro- everyone was there. So, yeah, in between the two. And, yeah, I, it was a... Uh, yeah, it was an interesting household. It was uh, it was deep, man. It was deep. It was deep. But yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Half St. Lucian, half Jamaican. Okay. Yeah, it's not as interesting as yours. I wasn't sent anywhere. But we're ca- I'm Caribbean, so we don't have that kind of discipline that our African brothers and sisters have where we're sent for. No, I don't, I don't think that's what you meant. Huh? I think he was naughty, in it? No, no, but that's the point. I wasn't, but, you know what? I wasn't even naughty. No, 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 but... I don't, I don't want to... <clears throat> It's a lot, man. No, but my it's mom good. I'm had to deal with things on their own because the yeah. relationship broke up. So yeah, my, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. When I get older, the stress then off. I realise. Yeah, yeah, then why? At the time, I was yeah. angry. I was like, why are you bringing, why am yeah, I? Because yeah. I was like 10 years old and I'd already grew up here. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just a big culture shock. Yeah. But it's fantastic because but, that's my point is you have that. Us Caribbean, people of the Caribbean di- diaspora, we don't have that where we can get sent back like so, that because we don't have that kind yeah. of discipline. No, 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 no. We're going to send us back to Jamaica and St. Lucia. Like th- there's a discipline. It's, there, it? it's very strict there, but we 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 weren't slaves, man. We were slaves. You weren't, so you know. Yeah. You have that. It's very deep. It's interesting stuff. <laughs> you look at well, that. We like. No, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious. You know, like, no, but, because we don't. So you know, don't, like, don't that, that don't happen in Western Guinea. Not really. No? I mean, we're not sent back. There's a all the, everyone I know that was sent back mm. were uh, Nigerian or Ghanaian. Okay. Because they have a they have a culture it's, it's, of uh, a community in and a village. Okay, menta- true, in true, terms true, of true, true, the village will raise yeah, the you, child. If you're not handling it, how you meant to be handling it here? Go back, go back there yeah, where yeah. you're going to send us back to Jamaica, even though they're very educated in the Caribbean, very educated, mm-hmm. very smart, very intelligent. Mm-hmm. But we don't have that kind of bedrock or foundation Commu- of, of a community in yeah, terms yeah, of you're going to yeah. send us back to. And there's a discipline, there's an order, and you're going to come back better. It's yeah. culture as well. It's, it's um, culture, isn't it? Learning, I think learning a language and just actually just learning the culture. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of African families, they want their kids to. And that's a beautiful thing. Do you know what I mean? And they so do Caribbean British, families like, as well. But I mean, no, but Caribbeans, we like we like you know my nan, God rest her soul. She had the she had of course cool, she had Diana and, and the Queen and the yeah, war, same, because same that's in, same in Africa. Yeah, I know. Same in Africa. I know. Same thing in Africa. I know. Yeah. I always think that's quite tragic. It is. So do I. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so do I. So do I. Yeah. So, what kind of upbringing did you not have? And you could pick who wants to go first. What kind of upbringing did you? you Mine know? was. Mine was, it was deep because I grew up with a single mum and there were six of us, five of us in the house. My older brother was always in Battersea with my aunt, but we had love. It was deep, but it was a, it was a, it was an order. My mum's a single St. Lucian woman that had all these boys before she had her girls and she was a lioness. She is a lioness still. She's older now, but back then, you know, in her pomp, in her, yeah, in her yeah. heyday, and you know, like probably my my African brother, she ruled with the iron rod, man. No joke. Blew in check, but man. she had to because yeah, yeah, there were so many of us, and you know, <laughs> she had to do. She had to put us youths in order, and it was hard back then. So it was mad. The eighties, man. It was a deep time. It was a different time, but. I suppose it's what made us. It's what made me. And uh, it was a more innocent time. Uh, the 80s, the music was better. Pop music. It was p- the time of pop music. and The whole culture. The whole culture everything, and everything, everything was yeah. a bit more innocent. Movies. Movies yeah. and, and the days were sunnier. Yeah. And... Uh, you needed less. You needed less. but yeah, yeah. And it wasn't as dangerous. There was no Maybe mobile phones. Because like we were kids. Because there Maybe. was a big, there was a recession going on in the eighties that, were, but it didn't affect us. It didn't affect us because we were kids. We weren't thinking about all these problems. You think so? But there was you a lot going what, on. You think that's what it was? I, just no, but it's interesting because there was a recession. Like, not, there's nothing really for us to be really that sad about. But it was a more innocent no, time need, though, he, he, and it was right. a harsh I'm time. A, I'm a, I'm a, I'm with you, Dave. Yeah, he's right because you needed less. We needed you, less. You got, you got a shorts, yeah, yeah. t-shirt, BMX. Oh, yeah. and That's and all we good. needed. Oh, yeah, you're outside. You know we, we were outside, poor. We were I grew up outside. poor, man. Yeah, I grew yeah, up poor. Now the kids now, th- what yeah, do they yeah, need? Yeah, you know, yeah. t- iPad. iPad. Right. In their phones. You know what I mean? We looked at each other. 
Exactly. My Physically kids are well. like down. Their heads are down. Mm. They're not looking at. We looked mm. at each other. We 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 met girls the way you're supposed to meet girls. Mm. You you played out. There was no mobile phone. So mm. once you left that yard, mm. there was no way of checking to your little what's what's the thing where they can see where location, you are. Location, location, the location yeah. thing. Yeah. Once and you're gone, you're gone. If you didn't have that 10p for the phone, but you know you, you can reverse the charges. Reverse charge, yeah, yeah. Man, shade there. I forgot about that. Man, shade there. Age. I'm proud of my age. I'm, I'm older than I'm you, bro. Yeah, you're yeah. an actor. I'm not an actor. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't need to know my age. Just give me the part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But no, it was a beautiful time, and growing up, it was it was deep, man. There was a like even into my teenage years, I started moving with my friends in terms of like being like junction boys you know mm. and all of this, this battersea mentality and being in like following my brother and his people and that's when i started getting into trouble though okay you know because before that i was a little film comic geek i still am comic books that's what got me into writing and and, and made my vocabulary what it is what i believe it is okay. which is mid to height <laughs> vocab you know so did you at that point did you know you were going to be in, in the film business? I think so. You knew that then? I think so. Because I was fascinated with the behind the scenes of Star Wars. I used to draw it. Okay. Behind the scenes, though. So I'd draw, like, if you remember, I was watching it today because I've got Disney Channel, in it. Uh, I was watching Return of the Jedi and all the creatures in Jabba the Hutt's palace. I used to draw them, but I used to draw the people behind. So I'd draw them, but I'd draw the table like below the the surface, yeah, beneath yeah. the surface, yeah. and the puppeteers, because there were animatronics back yeah, then, yeah, and puppeteers. Yeah. So I used to draw all the animatronics and the people working all the different creatures, yeah. and I'd draw the space battles, and, and then I'd read comics, and then I'd do this thing where one of the most... I'll never forget this. I fused... the. Do you remember the movie Platoon? Yeah. So I fused that movie. There's a scene in there where man, he says something about, oh, we're fighting this white man's war or something. And as I was a youth, because I could read beyond my years, I was like racially aware. Like Martin Luther King, I read his story in Life magazine. Okay. And that made me cry as a kid because I, as, when you read that at seven years old, you don't understand why he's getting shot because he's black. Yeah. So I was kind of racially aware and I, I'd, I'd done this hybrid of platoon with the comic book. So Falcon, Black Panther, all the comic book characters that mm. were black. And there weren't many. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were only two or three. And I put them in the scene with... Uh, Punisher was in there too. He was like Sergeant Elias. But I put him in the, in the scene with... Uh, the black characters from Platoon played by uh, Forrest Whitaker and, okay. and those other great actors uh, that were in that film. There's a lot of good actors in that film. And I remember putting them in a scene together and writing this whole scene where they're talking about, you know, being black and fighting this war. But wow. you had Falcon and Black Panther and Punisher, even though you ain't black, but, you yeah. know, all these people in there. And you know, that's that's what I used to do. My brain was weird like that, you know. I'd, outside, outside of the box, basically. Yeah, I'd write down my mum's when my mum used to go work and leave us, I used to look after all my brothers and sisters yeah. as an eight-year-old. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it's the eight. The same as mine. I know it is. It's Come mad. on, brother. <laughs> Come on, brother. Because you know, because we this is when you're poor and you have single parents or mm. people, then they have to make for their children. That's yeah. what they do. But I was the kind of kid that I'd write out the recipes for my mum's cookbooks. Mm -hmm. Who does that? It's weird, isn't it? Like what I'd write out all the re all the recipes, all the stuff. No. no so what, do you mean, what do you mean? You copy the cookbook? I copy the cookbook. Kiwi flan. That was my favourite. The kiwi flan. Because I used to look, look like the look of kiwi. Kiwi okay, fruits. Yeah, yeah. And there was a kiwi flan in there and strawberry flan. Mm. So I'd write out, you know, three, four cups of water, eggs, and I'd write it over and over again. I don't know why I did that. You were sharpening the sword, didn't you? I was sharpening my sword. Right. But I just did it over again. And, and I used to like writing and just things I wish my kids kind of did. Just like writing. I just like the feel of a pen and just writing these things. Then I discard it and write it all again. Yeah. And in between that stories. Yeah, man. What's your, what's your turn? My time, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I don't let um, me talk so much. No, that's cool. I was, I was getting into it, man. Um, I don't know. Where, where do I start? Um, what was your upbringing? What was your upbringing? Like? How my do you up see your upbringing? You know I mean? My upbringing? My upbringing mm. was hard, man. But it's like... Hmm, gonna make me open up now. Like. Oh, <laughs> therapy no, sessions. Yeah, you could pick what you reveal. My, you my, to, you know what yeah, my mum was on. She, she got my sister's dad. It didn't work out. It was quite, yeah. And then they split up. 
And then, um, yeah, like yourself, I had to look after my sisters. My mum was mm. out, out mm. working. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but my mum's a hustler. And that's where I got a um, hustler mentality from. Uh, she's got houses in, like, she's got a house in Ghana, America. Fantastic. And, the, and like, Slough. So, for a woman. That's amazing. Uh, five kids to, do you know what I mean? But at the same time, like, yeah. I had to help her doing a lot of work. We're looking after the sisters and that. But yeah, man, um, she done her thing, man. So that's why that's where I get my drive from. My mum, because I see like she's just she was just hardcore, man. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Hardcore. She was she was strict as well, but she was, she had, she was, she was cool, but she was she was strict. She's Af- she's gone in. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? African. She's proper strict, and then obviously trying to be um, the single mother looking after all these kids and raise a, a man. You know what I mean? I'm the eldest, so it's like, yeah, I could see where we clash because... She, I, clash, she, I clash with my mum all yeah, the time. You need to have your... Uh, I think the families need to have the, f- the father there. No, you do. Do you know what I mean? It's that yeah, women can do it on their own, but <sighs> it, the man... A woman can't raise they a can't man. Raise a ra- oh, oh, a man. No, uh, man. they cannot. And and you're so right because I'm trying to be politically co- correct. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> about yeah. it. No, but it's just say to... it as it is because like my mum is amazing. She a lioness. Don't rant with her children. She will murder you. This this <laughs> Saint Lucian woman. You yeah. couldn't rant with her children. Yeah. She would rant with her. That's why we were all fighters because she used to say, "If you don't beat them, I'll beat you." Okay. And I was I was scared of my mum. I was more, so you got to deal with it to make anyone. Sure you There's not yeah. one person well, on the road. Yeah, it's when, you when know you get I mean? to a certain age, you're like you're taller than your mum. Your mum's trying to you're like, and it doesn't work. Like, and plus, we are little not, men. Yeah, we're, not, we're men. The beats don't hurt no more. No, know, I would have died. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? So yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. end up clashing, and then because yeah. I felt like I was missing my youth. Yeah, always looking after the my sisters, which I love. But like, when everyone's outside, I'm at home. You know what I mean? And so it's. I start to get a little bit of resentment there, and we was clashing. Like, I understand now, innit? But when at the time I left home early, innit? Like, kick, getting kicked out, and then I just ended up leaving. By the time I was of age, did you to, to leave? Yeah, and I was just yeah. That's when I ended up in Reading, innit? Like, wow. My mum moved to Reading, and then the last argument was when we was in Reading, and I left, and I was just so I had to go to flipping um, YMCA, all them sort of places. Ah. Like just had my bags and I was just like having a good job. I was struggling. I was young, innit? Seventeen, just finished. No, I was in college, halfway between college, and then I, t- I was a I was a footballer as well, innit? So yeah, that's another thing we used to clash about because she wasn't taking the football thing seriously. Whereas Got, uh, if a, I, a Ghanaian mum won't though. Exactly. <laughs> I was talking about being a doctor and all that. I don't, I don't like blood and all this <laughs> queasy. Like, what do you mean? And I, nah. So I'm trying to show her like you could make money in football. Like, what are you talk. Cause she's a money woman, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm just like trying to explain to her. She's no, it's not, it's not a long career. Da, 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 da. But I feel if I had a dad there, yeah, he would have come to all the football matches. I would have got support. I would have been taken to certain places, and I would have been pushed. Do you know what I mean? But that's my story. So from there, because my mindset was so football, football, football. By the time I played semi pro, I was playing at Slough. I played for Hayes, um, Burnham. And Burnham is where I met. Some Reading guys, Reading footballers. So that will go into the story later on. Yeah. Whatever. But um Yeah, I was football, football in my head. But when you get start getting older, then I'm on my own now. I've got to pay bills. I'm outside. It's like you're starting to move with certain people to make money. It's like, yeah. And then them days as well was the garage days, garage music. And I was a DJ as well. I started getting into DJing. So then I was just trying to be a DJ in a club now, innit? Because I'm seeing all, all these so solid. Everyone's pop. Oh, you can make money like this as well. Okay. Because I'm creative. I like music. So let me do the DJing thing. And I was putting on raves and slow with my brethren and just like on a promoting thing. It's just, yeah, I just distracted from that. But sorry, just so much going on. I diverted. At college, I was studying A level. This is before I left home. I was arguing because Slough wanted me to to play for them, but in the youth team, and they're saying come on this um, education scheme mm. and all of that. And a lot of the lot of the footballers at the time they just went on the sports team, sports science. But my mum was like, "If you're gonna do that, and not go to because I went to Burnham Grammar School, 
I fast forwarded so much. From Ghana, where I was going to school out there, they they advanced, innit? So my education was so when yeah, I come back to do my all the utes. twelve plus. Yeah. Psh, I'd, I'd yeah. already done this two years ago. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Bang, I went into Burnham Grammar School, which is like it's predominantly white, isn't it? There's four black kids in the whole school, isn't it? At the time. And I wanted to go where all my bridges were. <laughs> so I was trying but like, obviously I passed the thing, so I went there. So my friends growing up was like diverse, isn't it? Because there was a lot of rich, posh people that went to rock music, grunge, all of that. So, but it helped me like get a rounded view of the world and people and different types of music and the education there was like next level. And I just loved doing English literature and language. Those are my favourite ones. And obviously That's what I've done. English, lang and lit, man. Art, drawing, yeah. art, I'm sick of art. But I don't really, no one's seen my art, but I was good. So like my attention for detail and creativity, I want to. I, I said I'm going to be a footballer. I'm going to do acting. I'm going to do fashion design because I like clothes and all of that. But I was just on the football team, really. But didn't work out. And then I studied A level anyway, theatre studies, A level. Because that's when I said I'm going to do this football thing. You got to do A levels. All right, cool. Because I had to leave the Burnham Grammar in it to go to a college to do the thing. And she wasn't happy about it. She wanted me to do six form at Burnham and. But all my bedrooms were going to the college, you know. Like, yeah, I can link up with everyone again now, and I can play football. So I said, oh, I do A levels. So I, I chose English, li- English literature, art, and theatre studies. And I was like, probably there's only two boys in the class for little girls. Like <laughs> everyone, like all the things I was doing, I was away from the band a minute. But common room distracted me because. Everyone's playing blackjack and cards. Mm. And then when you don't, when you're not in, in school, you have to go to class. Yeah. But college, yeah. If you don't turn up, you don't turn up, do up do innit? <laughs> so I was distracted, man, because they had a little DJ ting in the in the common room. So I was on the decks playing cards, and yeah, I wasn't really going to lessons like that. But I I, I was always going mm-hmm. theater studies. Mm. Do you know why? Because it was bare girls in the class, <laughs> and I like drama mm. as well, obviously. But that's what kept me going. And so we were studying Stanislavski. Oh, wow. He done yeah, Stanislavski. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Going who, who's, Stan, who's Stanislavski? He's a Russian He's actor, a director, guru, kind old of. school like guru for acting. Yeah. Uh, for acting? Yeah. Um, yeah. Mainly, mainly his, acting. His methods mainly are acting mainly. methods. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or acting methods. Acting methods. He's yeah. a director. Is he, was a direct, he was a director as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's ma- he mainly brought out books on making acting more realistic, method acting kind of. Okay. And it's like. Um, Back in the day, all the actors used to be a bit stiff, like they just make dramatic faces, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And then they'd think, yeah, sick actor. But then the time it's like, nah, you, you, there's got to be better ways. And yeah. obviously started saying, look, you got to start becoming the character and understanding the character and where the character's going. And, and then you can just do, basically be doing it naturally. Embody you, it. You can embody it and you it'll just naturally come out and it'll, do you know what I mean? Relaxing your, your body and all kinds of different methods. It's quite deep. Like, um, I've forgotten the name of the first book. Is uh, Meth? I don't know. It's oh, first I know. It as I'm not an actor. Yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. yeah. So but it's that, first book. It's first Stanis, book. Stanislavski. Okay. Like he's got different, he's got loads of different books, but the first one is basically opens you up to what his methods are. And Okay. Yeah, man, it's interesting. Um, it's still used today, all his methods. No, they talk, they talk about it a lot. It's, it's interesting what you say because... Uh, how kind of like through uh, girls, because, you know, I went Hammersmith from West London College mm. and the reason we went there, I went with the mandem. Like, mm. first of all, I was told, my, I always went to my mum and I realised my love of films come from my mum because my mum loves films. Mm. She used to be like, oh, AG, she's got this St. Lucian twang, I can't do it well. <laughs> she could, like, oh, AG, come and watch this film with me and we'd watch Godfather Bro. or The Good, Bro, The Bad like and The my Ugly. Mom, she's so, a, is it? Bro. This is mad. Oh, this is, bro, I didn't know this about you. My mum used to sit there. I don't know yeah. why she's trying to do it to make me become a man or something <laughs> like that. But she used to just make, I can watch nothing else, but Godfather, yeah. one, two, oh, all yeah. of them. The third one's rubbish, but the, the first yeah. two, third I was one, su- Third one's not rubbish, you know, but anyway. We, Compared that's to the a, Yeah, two. I know, but come and, on. <laughs> I know. Yeah, and then yeah. all of them, like, Scarface's, yeah. all, all the, like, gangster movies. But it wasn't was, just like, gangster. Hustler. I don't know what she was trying to do to me, but oh, yeah. I was. I watched all the gangster movies. Like, I've, I watched all of them. It, you were, well, with my mum, it wasn't just gangster movies. It was 
it was every movie. Like, we yeah. watched The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Then she'd be like, there's a, a film called uh, uh, Imitation of Life, which was an amazing film that affected my life. It was it? just, it was it's an old film, but it's about uh, uh, a black woman. It's mm. it made in the 40s. Or oh, okay. It's a black woman, but her daughter looks white, and her daughter rejects her. But I just remember at the end when she's dying, her daughter, who's not really white, she's just fair-skinned, mm. but really fair-skinned. And mm. because it was so racist, she dressed up as white and didn't... She rejected her mother. Okay. And at the I end of the... That. It's a deep movie. Yeah. They they made it twice, so there's two versions of it, but made it in the... F- may, I could be wrong about it, but maybe the 30s and then made it in the 50s. Okay. It's one of those ones, but it's a deep film. And at the end, when her mum's dying, she says, Mum, Mum, I love you. And it's, uh, it was really, like, made me cry as a kid. I used to cry a lot as a kid, you know. I just I kind of... <laughs> well, it was a deep film. But my mum would have me watch these films with her. And when I went to go Hammersmith, because I wanted to be an airline pilot, I forgot mm. I wanted to be an actor. Not mm. an actor. I never wanted to be an actor. I forgot I wanted to be in the movies mm. and do something. Uh, I made my first film when I was eight with my friends, and we've still got it somewhere but I forgot and I wanted to be an airline pilot like, I really wanted to be an airline pilot mm. then I really remembered I can't do physics and chemistry and all of that so <laughs> when I went to uh, college I was like what shall we do okay media studies where shall we go me and the man then my, 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 pr- my crew from Battersea was like okay we can go uh, Hammersmith. But I know why we went Hammersmith too, because we heard there was beer gal there. <laughs> beer gal, like. <laughs> Hammersmith was like fashion parade gal, yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, uh, my brother had gone there years before. Mm. And it was it, it was it was an infamous incident, but he kind of like, he'll never be forgotten in that college. And he was only there like a week or so. So I think being 50, 16 years old at the time, we wanted that notoriety in a way. Weird kids. Like, we were like, yeah, Junction, we're going to go Hammersmith. Yeah. We're going Hammersmith. We're from Junction. There's four of us, so we're an army. Yeah. No one can tell us nothing. You get me? And there I went. But I, I said to my dad, I asked my mum and my dad, which should I go Hammersmith? My dad's like, oh, don't go there. You you know what happened with your brother. Don't go, don't go. My mum said, Adri, if you think you should go there, go there. And my mum's deep like that. I went there. That place changed my life, man. Yeah, my first two children, my, my eldest two boys I met their mum there we're not together no more but I met their mum there and because of there I got onto the BBC scheme Same. and it continued I done media mm. and we done A levels even though we bunt so much weed that they closed down sections of it but the good thing is my brethren we kept each other in check mm. and t- it was mad like people was fighting but there was girls everywhere and uh, it was amazing but we kept each other in education okay. because we were harsh on each other as brethren we were like Nah, where are we? Why weren't you in college today? Come on, that's good. And that's how. So even normally, we, it's normally the other way around. It wasn't like that with normally my guys. We yeah. like we we bun it down. We drank. We done our thing. We done. We weren't. You know, we were done our thing. Mm. But at the same time, we kept each other in check. We kept our, each other in education, and we all went on to university. Uh, and we're not smarter than anyone else, but we just had that kind of uh, foundation to keep each other in check. But that place changed my life and it got me to the BBC scheme and that's why I started working in the BBC and it continued and pushed my my where I am today, going Hammersmith and West London College. Yeah. Deep place, man. So how did you two meet? Uh, you know how I met you? I know how I met you. You said you said about we were arguing, but I we, no, we that. did. We had a little debate, yeah. <laughs> and now I know you, but he's he's such a good person, man. He's a top top person. So the way we met, yeah, we was, we both support Liverpool f- Football Club. Okay. We're both Liverpool supporters, Never yeah. Walk alone. Never walk alone, yeah. So yeah, we we're in a group that our brethren in blue c- created called a Copology. Okay. Yeah. Now. It's funny, when you're in WhatsApp groups, I'm sure you're in WhatsApp groups all the time, but sometimes you don't know what people do in the WhatsApp group, and I always think there's so much potential in these WhatsApp groups. What do you mean? Well, because you might be in a group with 50 people, Mm. like Copology, Mm. and we're we're having banter Mm. about football Mm. all the time, but I don't know he's an actor. True. He don't know I'm a writer. True, true, true. How do you know? Because... You don't always talk just about talk, what you do. No, you're, you're just talking about it. You're just talking about football. Of that group. Yeah. Of that group, yeah, or you're yeah, talking yeah. madness, but you're not really saying, boy, you know what? This yeah. person's a, a lawyer. This person's an accountant. Mm. This person's a this. Because if we did, and we started to do it a bit, because there's so much potential. Now, what happened was, we had a little debate in there. It was silly, but it was about the press-ups. See, I can't even remember. I remember, because <laughs> I remember you was new in the group. Because okay. I'm, I'm a foundation member. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with Gino and the man. I'm foundation. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was in the group from time, and he come in the group, and it was something to do with 
press up so we got these rules where you have to do fr- and you was going on like a bit like a bad man still like like a joke <laughs> but he's going on, like a bit like you get me and what uh, <laughs> <laughs> what no because you was, we was having a debate and you was like nah no i'm not doing that but it was a bit of a debate and we was yeah. kind of laughing and it wasn't that serious because it's never gonna be you know what it is because so, i was in other groups and they're doing the same thing yeah 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 so you're defiant yeah you cover your defiant <laughs> self and you said nah you wasn't having it and so we had a little bit of a debate back and forth but it's funny because obviously i don't know exactly dude innit? Really it something about that yeah right. but i don't know dude and we don't know each other yeah. so but it's not that deep it's not you know you're not gonna hold yeah. it but what happened was is that i was a project that i'd written mm. called the underground i needed uh, uh my my director producer to work artsing for actors and for stuff and i'd just written this project so what i did in my group i said I think I put it out there in my group. Mm. Like, if anyone wants to be in this film, The Underground, mm. uh, get yeah, in contact with me. Awesome. I don't think I called for actors. I think uh-huh. I called, I don't remember what I called for. Maybe I did, because I didn't think this was going to be a hot, be- a hot bed of actors in there. Mm. But I just thought, oh, if anyone wants to be extras, I think. Mm. Uh, that's what I'd done. Yes. And then you hit me up and said, oh, you know I'm an actor, you know? I said, no, I didn't know that. I just know you don't do press-ups or whatever. <laughs> but he's like, no, I'm an actor. Mm. Cut a long story short, he got the main role. Sick. But you know what it is? I see you post something before in there. Did you? About something. And I think you're doing maybe doing something with Harvey. Yeah, yeah. And um but I was I was just cause I was just starting and I was just a bit like um, I didn't know it was a bit shy in it. Like I was just, then I see Harvey, I was like, oh, okay, he knows he knows some people then. So the next time you done it and you and it was to do with that, I thought, nah, I gotta just say something in it because like, I don't know, I just at that moment in time, that's when I was starting, and I thought like, I need to just go for it. All the time I was thinking about what my brethren is going to think, or what people are going to think, and all of that. And then it just got to a point in my life where I thought, do you know what I mean? I cut out all the other things I was doing, and I just thought, now nah, let me just be do what I used to like doing. I can't play football no more. Mm. Right? I can, but it's not going to be. So I thought, let me try the acting. And then when, as soon as you've done that, I was just like, bang. Sick actor as well, man. And you bagged that role, and you deserve to bag it. And uh, out of that, became brethren's man. And, you how, know. How did you go into acting then? I got into it. Um, first off, I I met up with one of my friends, Johnny, who's in my short film, and we at the same time were we've known each other for years, and we was just think was talking about it, and he was saying, "Yeah, um, I'm thinking about doing acting." I was like, "Is it? Like, I'm thinking of doing that as well." And then we just started thinking, like, "How how do we get into this?" And then it was just like he started going to some classes at Pinewood. We live near Pinewood, mm. and then. Um, he was just talking about um, signing up with different uh, acting agencies online. There's there's like different ones for extras and all sorts like Star Nows, Mandy's, and um, but the main one's Spotlight. You need to get on, which has got the proper things on there, proper acting stuff. But it's like a climb. You have to climb a ladder and steps. You like you have to get footage um, to build up a show reel, and you need to have credits to get onto Spotlight. What's credits? Um, actual film credits. Um, oh, film credits. Actual okay, credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actual, and, but they need to be for professional jobs. Not they don't really take amateur stuff. Okay. Um, however, you need to do the amateur stuff to show what you can actually do before you're gonna get. You need to build a for show reel of, of work yeah. so you, people can see how you can actually act. So the main thing was to just just get out there and start acting. So we just got on to Star Nows and all those different sites and then um registered with them and then just there's loads of independent filmmakers um doing shorts and and whatnot so i was just applying for just as many things as i could i started as an extra just to get onto the sets because i wanted to just get on there and just immerse myself in the whole thing if i'm going to do this and then um one guy hit me up and um he's like yeah just want to come and do this um short um, he's based in Enfield, and I didn't really know anything. But I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just need you as an extra to count some money. And I was like, all right, cool. Didn't show me no script or nothing. I was like, but I didn't at the time. I was just happy just to just start get started. This is about four years ago, and then um, he's like, um, yeah, yeah, just walk out. You're gonna count this money, blah blah blah, and that's it. I'm like, all right, cool. Um. So when I just went and done it, he was like, yeah, 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 that was sick. I was like, I was just counting money. Like, but <laughs> he count money sick. You know what it is? Because of things, 
I used to do, I was, I could do it quick, couldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was very diplomatic. So, yeah. So, <laughs> say no more, say no more. Yeah. So I could do it quick, but in my head, I was just thinking, I'm just can't, but yeah. it just, do you know what I mean? It flowed and it worked. And I was like, yeah, just, if you got anything else, just give me a shout, man. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? He's like, all right, cool. And then um, he shouted me for a couple more things just in the background, but then I got some words. And then another thing I had to do with him again, where it's, it's called Noise in the Hood too. And I, th- I actually like that. Noise in the Hood. Noise in the Hood. That's two. a good title. Part two, because he done the first one. Okay. His name's um, T, well, T Williams, who's a director, and VSOP is his uh, company. Um, but a lot of, well, all of the work I did with him was... Um, is that in- independent then? Eh? Yeah, okay. independent. All the work I did with him was I- improv, improvisation. That's good. So it was a good... That's a good turning. Learning. That's a good <laughs> learning to improv. Yeah. That's I think some might leave stuff. Yeah, at the time I was like, "Where's the script?" Every time I'm like, "Where's the script?" I need to know. You know what I mean? What? I don't know whether he's protective over his story or whatever, but he was always improv. When you get there, he's telling you, "Yeah, this is what we need to do in the scene," and that's it. Like, and then you create the words. I have to create the words and create the thing. But I love that. I love that. So sometimes when you see some stuff, you people think, "Mm," but then you got to understand that we only just found out there and then what we got to do, and we got to get into the. So I rate all the people that are in these things because, like, they got to create that character what's there your, and what, then. What's you guys take on improv or scripted? Well, I'm a script writer, but so <laughs> for me, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So for me, but I, I, a I, bit of both, a bit of both, and so the the script is like, so you'd have the script as a, a, as a I, blueprint. I as a the blueprint. script is yeah. king, but like, I it's funny because I've just written a, a draft of a, a, a big project I'm doing in Manchester. And my my directors uh, Ashley Chin and, and and Darren Campbell they 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 said to me there are certain scenes that are dialogue heavy that they want me to write, mm. but once we get to the rehearsals, mm. they want to workshop these scenes, okay. so that we have the script as our blueprint, as yeah. our as a guide, as a the guide, backbone, the backbone of the. Yeah. But they want yeah. to hear how. The and they might actually like read it. They might re- dry read it from the actual script, mm. but then they'll say, "Now, how would you do it?" Or okay. do it this way, or yeah, do yeah. it that way. So I love improv. I I think I love it, but I do also like even, whether you improv it. It still has to become script because even if they've done ten minutes of improv as a script writer, I'd be there recording it all and then yeah. turn that into script. So it does become okay, script yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. not going to remember it on the day. So nah, yeah. even that improv, but I do like when... So what's that during rehearsal you're talking about? During rehearsal. Okay. You can't do it on the set yeah, because yeah. time is money. You can't do it. So even the improv... So I watch some Goodfellas and yeah. apparently um, Pesci... That, that that scene. You know that way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, funny, funny how. Funny, funny how. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the improv. That's right? improv, yeah. So that improv was created, you're telling me, during rehearsal, yeah, they they wouldn't have done that on the set. Oh wow! No, huh? no. I mean, and even if you did, you yeah. To be fair, you have so many rehearsals, you have enough time to mess around with. Even it. if you've done it on you're the set, you still have to go back and then on something big like write that. it. Yeah, you wouldn't just do it and be like, okay, wing that's it. A you take. won't just wing it. On you a can't take. just wing yeah, it. No, you can't because yeah, you've yeah. got to take many angles. You got to many shoot it many times. You, you, you got to do different about takes. Ten yeah, times. Yeah. 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 But when you say okay. smaller things, then you can get away with it. Yeah, just rehearse sure. it, and you can actually just actually shoot the rear. But I also believe that you you still need to script it. Even yeah, your actor, 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 actor. for me, I would just like to know a lot a bit more before I get there, so I can get my mind into even if it's improv. Just tell me what the person. What the flipping things are about a little of bit. course, of course. But um, everyone's different, so but it was a lot. It was a it was a hard learning thing for me because that was the first sort of acting work that I did. And it was just straight improv, improv, improv. That's improv. great. I think it's it great training. It's great training. So by the time I'd met you, I'd already shot a few things with him, and then there's a short, my first actual dialogue proper short. Even though I'd done a few with him, it's called Snakes in the Grass. Okay, on YouTube, and that's all improv. Check that out. It's, it's, it's actually alright. I look back at it now. I'm like, oh, I should I'll check it out. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, I'll check it yeah, out. I think, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's all right, man. But um, yeah. Then obviously, I'll, but with that, stuff haven't come out. So well, then I started doing the work with you, and I'd already had that practice. Yeah. And then I was a bit more confident then, innit? Because I'd been in front of the camera. I could relax now. Well, you got the main role because when he, I never knew you'd get the main role when you mm. sent me that message in Copology. <laughs> 
I was yeah, like, he's asking me like, oh, I was, I was, oh some character a- Adrian. It's like, bro, that's the main guy. I was like, oh, bro. I said, yeah, you got this character. Like, uh, what was his name again? It's Adrian. He's not Adrian. I'm Adrian. How's it gonna no, be? Sorry, there's Adrian's a different film. It was. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, heads, I'm not that I'm narcissistic. Oh. You know what I mean? That I called him my name. <laughs> now, Andre's in my film. Adrian, I've got so many A's. And uh, you know, I write so many characters, I, I forget okay. their names. Uh, oh my gosh, what was his name in the underground? He had a good name as well. I forgot, man. You have to IMDb it. Yeah, yeah we'll we check it. We'll check, yeah, check it. But, um, but yeah, you got the main. I was like, what? You got the main role? Yeah. He's like, yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. Let's At see, first, I wasn't not nervous. Rats, not do you know what it is? I was just taking everything like in my stride and then when I got the script like because I've been doing improv I got this big script I'm like I've got to learn all of this <laughs> it's like <laughs> I've got to learn other people's lines as well to know when to come when in to come in yeah and all of that yeah. so I was like rah <laughs> bruv I just went hard man you've done well I just, man I just you, it, was, it was amazing man. it was just, amazing just through it because I just nah I've got to take this thing serious man and was it COVID times? It was, it was COVID times. Time. No, it was COVID. So that's what I'm saying. We shot during COVID. Mindset was all over the place because of COVID. Like, I'm just, oh, I need to go hard with this thing now. I need mm. to. So I was just zoned in and. It was right in COVID. Yeah. Like, man. in the, the whole mask wearing stuff and all of that. There you go. Crap, I was you know studying I mean? everything as well to do with acting because we had time in it. Yeah. I was YouTube and everything, man. Yeah. Everything. That was, that <laughs> everything. was, that was uh, four years ago I'm now. I'm talking about camera angles, yeah. everything. I was, obviously, people like, oh, when did you learn that? YouTube. But. You can learn. You can learn a lot. Yeah. You can learn a yeah, lot. Of course you can. Of course you, you can. can learn a lot on YouTube. Oh my you lord! YouTube. Don't so, fight. Um, of course you can. A good guy, or bad guy. You're a good guy, isn't it? No, I'm saying generally. Uh, what in in life? As an actor. As no, an actor. no, 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 oh. not in, not in life. <laughs> I, I presume we're all good guys because we sat at the table. Oh, good guy, you know what I mean? Um, as an actor. As an actor. Shades of grey. Shades of grey. I think I've got that. I can put on facial expressions, like. You weren't that good like in uh in uh in absent. That's why like that's that I watched I no, watched that. You weren't good though. Well, you you weren't a good, good guy. guy. He wasn't oh, a good guy. Well, he wasn't saying my acting went that good. Oh jeez, <laughs> you got to be careful with actors. They've got such fragile egos. You ask the question, good guys or bad guys. Yeah. I say you weren't not a ego, good guy. Not ego. All of a sudden, it's like what my act is. <laughs> no, your character. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Was, no, that, I, was I, that character I, good? Was that character good or was that character bad? Would you say that character was? You weren't good. He weren't good. No, nah, he weren't because obviously <laughs> he was cheating Stashing. on his missus and all of that. Yeah, that don't make you a bad, nah, bad guy, but, but he, he weren't good. Him, like, he weren't. My man's doing all kinds of shady stuff. Yeah, yeah, man, he's yeah, got yeah, youngers, man. man, and everything. Youngers, stashing stuff. Come on, bro. That's house. not a good guy. Nah. You wouldn't want that to be your son. What? You're talking about the underground? No. No, absent. Absent. Oh, absent. You confuse me, man. Uh, no, absent is bad, yeah. Yeah, well, you yeah. wrote it. However, it's yours. However, you you don't know right there's guy. another one coming. No, okay. I understand. That's, that's and I'm sure there's okay. nuance. Okay. Special one. I'm sure it's nuance, coming. but he's not a good guy in absent. He's not a being good honest. Guy, but there's reasons. <laughs> I'm sure there is. It wasn't an outright bad guy. No, he wasn't bad. He wasn't like a psychopath. No, he wasn't psychopath. But he's not a good role model. No, not a role model at all. No, no, no. I right. thought he was talking about the underground, um, the underground guy. Oh, he was a he was an all right guy. He was all right. He was all right. He wasn't a bad guy. But he, like I'm saying, he was cheating on his missus as well. Yeah, but mass, enough man do that. It don't make them bad guys. It just but makes them bad partners. In, yeah, but he was treating, <laughs> like he was treating his missus like shit when he was coming in. No. Yeah, it was. No, not really. He was no. just fed up because he wanted a draw. And plus, remember he was frustrated because the music career wasn't going well. What, 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 he was a what, producer. What, what, what was that? That's the one I wrote called The Underground. This is the one where we, we met. You weren't no, meant you to see it that. because no, yeah, that's a, a yeah, that's a long story. But it's a pilot. It. Oh, I haven't wow. even seen it. I haven't seen it. I'll never see it. That's another story. <laughs> so how, how did you, you, you get into writing then? You mentioned BBC. Oh, well. You know what I mean? So so this is, I got into writing because I started writing my mum's recipes. No, when but I was little, got to that point, but after no, but that. this is so. Th- so that's that. So from there, and I was writing a lot of stories. Mm-hmm. Just kept writing all the time. I don't know. I just kept writing. I was just writing everything, and and then, to be honest, all my brethrens knew me as the writer, in it. Okay. So they all, you know, we'd all get high as youths, mm. and every time we get high as youths, every time we bun a zoot, then man be coming out with a story because that's what you do. Yeah. They'd be like, Adrian can write it. And I used to, it used to it used to get on my nerves really. Yeah, you guys, you guys sound very advanced, man. We were, but it used to get on my nerves because they'd say Adrian could write it, and 
I was like, what do you mean I can write your stories? Like, <laughs> and every time man gets hired, man's got a new story. You know what I mean? I'm like, no, nah, I'm not writing it. So I used to always say to them, okay, if you're serious, mm. if you're serious, then uh, write, write me something. Mm. If you want me to write a story, write me what you want me to write me. Even if it's just a one liner. And they'd always say, yeah, yeah, never do it. Okay. Ever. Okay. You know who, one, one day, my brethren, Michael Che, Ghanaian brother. Yeah. I said to him, he said to me, yeah, 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 I got this story, we were high. I said, all right, write me a story if you think, you know, he did it. He wrote me something called Half Time Hustle, yeah? It was just a one pager. And I said, rah. And not only did he do it, I said, rah, you can write, bruv. I said, you should write this with me, it's sick. If it wasn't for Michael Che, there'd be no Mellow Nine Productions. Serious. Oh, my, this guy, that was my partner no. for years. We, we're not partners no more. Mm. Uh, writing partners but it's still my boy to this day yeah, that's, yeah, fa yeah. that's foundation it's family man yes. but it was because of him and actually it's because of him that I even have a career because well the trajectory I'm on now mm. because when we wrote Halftime Hustle and remember I've been writing for a little while not seriously but I've been writing for a while and trying to be serious he's just come in I've said to him look all right, you write me this thing and he's written it so that surprised me because nobody did that. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. actually did it. And we turned this thing into a story. Now, what then happened was that like, we, we said, you know what, let's hustle this thing. And he was my Cody from the road anyway. He went Hammersmith with me. Mm. Uh, we got, you know, we got in trouble together, mm. chatted to girls together, got into fights together, you know, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. part of the crew in Batsy, isn't it? And uh, so now we're writing together and this is our next hustle. Our film's called Halftime Hustle. Mm. It's me and Che. You know, we used to MC together, you know what I mean? Like, it's me and him. So we're like, you know, this is another part of our hustle. So we went and hustled this thing. So we started going to certain events. And he said to me, he said, oh, you know what, fam? He's got a name, isn't he? Smart. He said, you know what, fam? He said, you see this script writing thing? You need to protect it. We need to protect our thing. And he likes incorporating companies. I don't, he liked doing that shit. He's like, I'm going to incorporate a company for us. And we said, all right, what shall we call it? And because, yeah, we're going to call it Nine Aoife. Nine Aoife. We always wanted the nine because it's mm. birth, nine months. Yeah. And we called it Nine Aoife. We went to register it as Nine Aoife. Someone had taken the name. Okay. We was fuming. So we said, oh, what shall we call it? We said, all right, let's call it Mela Nine Productions. He incorporated it. We now got Mela Nine Productions. The only reason we created Mela Nine Productions was to protect our script right. Okay. That's the only reason. From there, he's we've gone to events to hustle this script out. Yeah, we're we're green. Mm. Yeah, this is like two thousand and six. Yeah, we're green. He's gone to an event called Black to the Future. Yeah, he's met a producer there called Nadine Marsh Edwards. It's Green Acre. I think she's Green Acre. Forgive me if it's wrong, but she does some big things right now. Mm. Yeah. He's met a woman called Nadine Marsh Edwards. While she's eating her lunch, he's, he's approached her. Cut a long story short, because of Nadine Marsh Edwards, we're now working with, I forget what they were called at the time, man. Oh, Shimmer Productions. Mm. Shimmer Productions says to us, okay, cool. We'll get you with, we like this script. We think you guys have got something. Uh, but also, have you got any other ideas? Uh, if you have, just throw it at us. So we wrote down 10 ideas. One of them they picked up, it was called uh, 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 Dog my gosh, I f I'm forgetting it because they were so. It was called Dog Ends. Mm -hmm. okay. Dog Ends. She loved it. Got us a director, Trix Wall, who created Desmond's. He's now directing Dog Ends because wow. of that. Uh, that's the, that's where I met Arnold O. Cheng, Jason Mazza, all these other actors that uh, her uh, Lisa Lintot, her jazz, uh, her, her son's jazz Lintot Bruce, to this day, great actor. Uh, met all these people and they created half time uh, it's not half time they created doggins mm -hmm. and they tried to push it for years but it wasn't didn't get anywhere and it was a different time mm -hmm. but out of that we started getting other stuff and then out of that we met a guy because we was hustling hustling we met a guy called ashley chin now the thing is about che i don't know anyone mm -hmm. when i say i don't know anyone <clears throat> i could be standing next to tom cruise well he's really famous but you know, I, there's a lot of people in the West End. When you go to central London, I've seen Helena Bottom Carter. I've talked to Terence Stamp. But there's all these people. I don't know I'm standing next to him. It's people that point them out to me. Che knows everybody. He said, oh, that's the youth that does the street is incarcerated. That's the youth that... I was like, what's... The? I said, I've heard of it, but I would never know the youth. His name's Muslim Bilal. Muslim Bilal. Mm -hmm. Ashley Chin. 
okay. So he said, yeah, we should talk to him. He's got a good story. Spoke to him. Out of that, we started working with Ashley Chin. You know, I work with him to this day. Mm. Yeah. Started working with Ashley Chin. Ashley Chin was doing Streets to Islam. Years later, him and his co-partner, his Cody, uh, uh, Michael Maris, Buck, they're writing, they wrote something called uh, Victim. Mm. They were having trouble writing a draft. They'd written all these drafts and Ashley s- suggested to Buck that he approach us because we work with Ashley mm. and help him and asked us to help them write Victim. So we met Buck and Chin had a meeting and we ended up writing another draft of Victim and the four of us combined and created this thing. Ended up in the cinemas. Uh, you know, David David Haywood, mm. the Tisha Wright's first ever movie. Uh, she's big time now. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, all of these great actors, uh, Ash and Buck obviously were in it, uh, all these other actors, and that was our first credit. So, the... <laughs> And then from then we mm. just I just kept writing I just kept writing and kept writing and doing stuff and then I became known uh, so I think I still am I'm not at the top echelons of writing not yet I'm on route but I became like if you sick. want that writer mm. that you can't quite afford the the fifty grand writers mm. <laughs> go to me <laughs> you get a cheaper rate but you get a good product and yeah, yeah. that's where I've been for a long time so you know I always say to people the way I got into writing was just by writing. And 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 my writing, coach, writing well though, yeah. But you, well, no, but when you writing. read, but when that's all that's all uh, relative because I don't think I was writing well back then. No, but that's hindsight. It's relative though because no, no, well, I mean that's hindsight. That's you looking back now. Yeah, where you were writing then. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that you're gonna progress if you're not right if you're not writing well. Yeah, you got, if you're not doing anything somewhere. well, you could do as much as you want. You're not gonna yeah. you're not gonna go anywhere. We were writing well, but when I look at my stuff that I was writing, because I was writing all the time, stuff that no one will ever see. Mm-hmm. Just writing. I was at my day jobs just writing all the time. Yeah. Great stories that, mm-hmm. you know, and I'd work with people that kind of let me down and I was green and it was hard. And you know, the reason Michael didn't continue because he had to go and get a real job because and I don't okay. blame him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, his wife was like, You need to get a real job. You two don't make no money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. and I understood I said to him it's going to be a long road and he didn't believe me because he only came onto it because he wrote this I told him you got to write if you want me to write it and he yeah. came in a bit green and he's like oh, wow you're right we're not making any money and I don't blame him he had to go and get a real job yeah. I persevered because this wasn't my dream from yesterday it was my dream from when I was born Yeah, it was just yeah. yeah, yeah. so I continued to the point now where I'm writing really big projects that the only thing is I just carried on. But you have to look at if it wasn't for Michael, I would never have met Nadine Marsh Edwards. I'd never know who Ashley Chin was mm. if it wasn't for Michael Che. There'd yeah. be no Melanie production. So, you know, not everyone's meant to go on your journey with you, but you've got many people that come in and take you to where you want to go. Mm. And I'm that kind of person. I don't forget when people do stuff like yeah. that. And their roles in the story as a storyteller, you know, their roles in the story is very, very, very important. Michael yeah. Che's role in my story is like paramount in a nutshell that's how i became a writer <laughs> yeah that's big that's very very big. very true man very true you guys watch yeah. the round table <clears throat> i always watch the round table watch the round table i love them you, watch no, them? I I you don't watch the round no, table and you're an actor you go, you go you go watch the round table and you're an actor yeah. you go watch around i was gonna <laughs> it's ask fantastic a i was gonna ask a question re- relating to the round table an episode i watch with um which one did you watch? Will Smith, Samuel L. Jackson. I saw that one. Yeah. I saw that and one. And the question is going to be for you. Okay. Because um, on that table, um, it comes back again to, um, what's the word again? Not ad hoc. What's the word again? So it's not scripted. It's um, improv. 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 It comes back again improv. to improv. Yeah. yeah? Um, Theatre work. So Samuel L. was saying to Will Smith, that if he hasn't done theatre. He hasn't done theatre. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I You're deep. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, yeah. what you meant. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, what you were saying is that I'm a big fan of film. Like, the reason we're sat here, like I said, yeah, I'm a big fan of film, film, generally, yeah? And he said that, um, and I'm looking at Will Smith's skill. Will Smith can act. Yeah. But there's something missing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. slightly well, missing. Different. And oh, I do right. believe something, oh, when he said about the, imp- about the, Theatre stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So is that something that you would do? Theater? Good you, question. The reason I was going to ask that again is because you mentioned about the script came and it, I got to learn all of that, you know, because obviously theatre is 
Yeah. You, got, you got to know it off head. You got, yeah, you got to know it off head, and it's on the spot. You That's can't a brilliant up. question. Yeah, yeah, I would do it definitely, but I got to like the the story and the script because there's certain I enjoy theater, but I don't think I enjoy. It I don't want to do so have you done? I <laughs> get bored of by certain things. I'm just keep it real. Like, yeah, the, I love Shakespeare, but some of it I just you don't want no, to do that don't, don't, don't have to be Shakespeare, yeah. though. Okay, I just mean like theater as in live acting. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I'll definitely do it if. I was thinking about doing it soon. Um, if 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 opportunity arose, I do love f- films and cameras and that. But mm. I'd, like I say, I'd. Do you know what it is? I like to prove a point. So you're gonna prove you <laughs> so can I'm do, do it just to show I could do it, and <laughs> just to show myself okay. as well. Yeah, and get the experience. Um, but yeah, fit is cool. I'll definitely do it. Yeah, I just studied it. I studied exactly. it. So, exactly. So, you know what I mean? Um, it's definitely harder. Like you say, you have to. You that's scary to me. That's scary. scary. But that's it's powerful. It's, it's powerful. Oh, it's scary, it is. But I think you have to really. Do you know what it is with theatre as well? Some of them, you gotta know every word. You gotta know literally everything on the fly. But you like, hear their stories though about when they mess up. When you watch the round table, they've they've told stories about when they mess up what, in theatre. On film, on theatre. No, in theatre yeah, when what? they're talking about okay, that. Go on. And you know what? Everybody you messes style, up. Like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get yeah, 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 or loses it's the words. It's, it's about your. The, the the person opposite you, yeah, and they, they laugh they about get it. Get you back on track, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Or, or, or it just goes. Yeah, mm. Some, the audience sometimes might not even notice it. Yeah, you just got to be able to just ride it and yeah. try and style it and don't don't freeze. Yeah, basically. don't freeze basically. Yeah, but um, yeah, man. Do you know they need to pay more in theater, man. As well. No, but that's what Summer I was saying because again. It's not about the money. It's I not know about it's not the about money, the money it's about but the right now. <laughs> you're you're I'm commerce. <laughs> no, it is no, because cost of living is mad right now. So yeah, true, if, true, true. Like, if I'm gonna go and do something and it's gonna pay me less, yeah, but you know what it is. What, you know what it is, though. Sometimes, yeah, well. but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you are. I was t- I was saying this to my missus the other day. It's like I've done so much stuff for free. Mm. I, I'm shooting. No, it. I did all my. But I'm just saying, like, it's a lot of time that you have to put into theater. Like, yeah, like a lot do a lot of like, rehearsals yeah, yeah, and a lot of that. And but but that training you don't get. And listen, mm. I agree with you about the money, first of all. So I'm not saying more. about that, but I'm saying that that time you, that that kind of, cr- that's why the Americans love British actors a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, because of the our training, our yeah. theatre training. Yeah, yeah, when you listen to, you know, David Harewood, uh, uh, Denzel loves theatre. They, mm. they go back to theatre to keep mm. them sharp. sharp. Yeah. Yeah, 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 because yeah. film is easy. You can do take after take after mm. take. I'm not to saying it's it. easy, yeah. but it's easier. Yeah, I'm yeah, not an actor, easy. but... You know, I saw a theatre show. Uh, I used to go and watch a lot of theatre because back in the days when it was like the, I call it the golden age of like my experience in the industry because back in like around the times when we'd done Dog Ends and Victim, we was at all these little parties and there was a little group of us and you'd go to the parties. I, I got sick of them because I'm like, what are we doing at these parties? We're not acting, we're just at parties. Mm-hmm. But there was this place and... and uh, Back then, you know, you kind of like went to a lot of theatre shows, and you know there was like Anne Aiken. She's doing big things now with uh, what's her name from uh, Michaela Cole. She because she was in a theatre play I saw, I saw, and there was a uh, uh, one of a great one I saw was uh, that's how I met Adam Deacon mm-hmm. with my friend Anwar Lynch, uh, Lashana Lynch's brother. Anwar done a show called House of Agnes. He invited us to come to it. <sighs> what about a Nigerian mum? that had these two sons, House of Agnes. Don't play with Agnes. It's her house. Yeah. But Adam Deacon was playing some kind of shopkeeper. Listen, when you see theatre, man, and these actors and they hit their markers yeah, and yeah. They, 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 it's quite intimate sometimes, theatre. Mm. You can, this is the only time you can be intimate with people that tomorrow may be big stars and that's not why you're there, but you see their power yeah. and what they're doing. You know, even what Ricky Beadle Blair was doing in certain of his plays, mm. you know, fantastic what he's doing and that power. I've always wanted to write theatre. I've never written theatre. Okay. Let's do something. I was actually thinking about shouting you about something. Shout me, man. I had no idea. I was Shout do. me. Is it theatre? The fact that you brought it up, yeah. Is it theatre? Yeah, I want to put on the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you're doing. Oh, well, that, 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 that's what we're here for. I was you know, do that anyway, that's what we're here but, for. Um, <laughs> obviously, there's so many different projects going on. I know, mm. just but theatre is where you can minute. let. You know, I'm always editing myself. Mm. Theatre, you can go. Mm. Yeah. Let me off that leash and put me. I want to write a monologue, man. You know, in movies, you don't get a lot of chances to write monologues, man. No, no. Okay. Unless you're writing that scene in a for few good men, for a specific, no, yeah. because you know most times they're not dialogue heavy. 
Um, yeah, 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 true. You know, true, in true, fact, true. what I try to do is cut dialogue a lot. I try to, because t- dialogue is the, I, I studied McKee, mm. Robert McKee, and he said dialogue is the least important element of a movie. And it really is, because you see a lot of people write scripts and the dialogue's awful. They think that only Tarantino, there's not everyone's the, Tarantino. Let me talk about Godfather, though. That's beautiful dialogue. Do you know what I mean? But then, yeah, Brando but, yeah, but some... no, but that's not Brando's not only is he a great actor, but that movie demands that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so not many saying, movies saying, that demand that, that kind of dialogue. Ones, yeah, very true. The old school, that's yeah, old school ones, yeah. yeah. But now they just want to. But show but the but a lot of the much. movies are bad dialogue. I, I write, I read scripts all the time. The dialogue's awful because people just write because they're indulging trying and saying, feel, "Look at me." Feel, feel the space. Well, they're saying, "Look at me, I can write." Yeah. Not, it doesn't move the story from A to B. People yeah, have to realize that dialogue is action. Okay. Dialogue isn't dialogue unless you're Tarantino, who's a genius. He can just write a whole twenty-minute scene about paying a tipping a waitress. <laughs> we, me and you can't. Do, me and you can't do that. Why not? We can. No, but why would you want to? Tarantino depends obviously has a natural ability to it. Is. Yeah, but you don't have that time to indulge. He can indulge in his own movies and have the time to write mm. a twenty-minute scene about tipping a waitress. But I, you've got to know your strengths, man. As a writer, yeah. and most writers, I tell you, nine out of ten writers wouldn't be able to entertain me with writing a twenty-minute scene about tipping a waitress. Tarantino can do that, and that's yeah. why he's Tarantino. And we, you shouldn't even try because if you're trying to tell a story, you don't, you won't have that luxury anyway. And what's the point? Time is money. You know that. It, you're I a director. Know, I know, but it all depends on what what the film is. Well, about. you write a twenty-minute scene about tipping a waitress. Uh, the, the, the audience I decide. To, I probably could. Be Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just wouldn't go there. It's just no. like, why yeah, would I? It's been done already. No, it? but like, just why would you? You're not that good. And when I say that, you're good. But I'm talking about myself. It's like, you've got to know your... Like, I don't want the striker to pretend they're the best defender in the world yeah, and the yeah, defender to yeah. tr- try oh, and well, score yeah, the goals. I heard what you said about play your strengths. Play your strengths, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strengths. I can't take these people that try to play the banjo. You know, like they try to j- Dick Van Dyke it off. Mm. Mary yeah. Poppins it off. They're mm. playing the banjo, singing, doing the tick. Nah, no, no, this is why a lot of things fail and they're not good. Stay in your lane, get a good Stay team. Stay in your lane, get, get, a, a good team get the best work. team. Yeah, the yeah. best entrepreneurs, the best, most successful people, they play their position. Mm. In fact, they're not, probably not the best at anything. They might be the best organizers. Yeah, organizing the right people in, in the right positions. positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, that's a manager. Yeah. And that's what I'm about. I don't try to do what I'm not good at. And I'm good at a lot of things, but yeah. there's people better than me. I'll get them. Yeah, and I do the other bit, yeah, and course, together man. we make magic. Of course, man. Team you, team is one hundred percent number number one, especially in our industry. Yeah, you gotta get the right people on your team. Everyone's gotta be in sync. Everyone's gotta be into the whole project. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You get people just jumping on something just to be part of it, or just to know? get their name out yeah, there. It's about the lights and about me, 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 me. Whatever, but bullshit. But you feel, you can feel that energy straight away, and you just know, in it. So yeah. You need to have a, a team that's everyone's in sync and on it and knows their role and they're they're happy to play their. Position. How did you get into directing? Um, I wrote the because I wrote, wrote the film, <laughs> absent. I felt like you see, you see it's the only picture. I'm the only one that could see the see picture. The picture yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, I did show it to people and people liked it, but I just felt like like they didn't know. I knew exactly where this thing was going. Yeah, you know how to I, deliver it. Basically. Yeah, I knew where it was going. I know what's happening. I know what's going to be happening in the future. So I just thought it's only right. This is, I might as well just direct it. Um, I knew what angles I wanted. Like I said, I'd be binging on all these uh, tutorials. And I just, why not try it on my own, my own thing? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Much, if you know the story as well, Inside Out, mm. you should really, I don't know. Very true, very true, yeah. You try it at least. So yeah, that's my first radio. Won't be your last. No, it won't be my last. I'm gonna keep How did you find it? How would you find the journey? Um, so from idea to research to then doing it and completing it. How did you find putting it? Putting it together is it's it's quite well. It's difficult. You got to obviously find the actors, find the locations, get rehearsals going, get people in. Um, there's a lot of there was a few people that I put in there that had no experience, but I knew that they were entertainers. Um, for example, I see people always on there uh, doing the, what you call it, filming themselves and doing all this dancing. And I'm like, you're an entertainer. You're, you're always yeah, very acting. True, very true. You could do that. 
uh, I brought in people where well, I know people that used to rap or DJs. So they're used to being in front of crowds. Crowds, yeah, never, yeah. So I felt that they could easily trans, um, do you know what I mean? Transcend into that. So, um, yeah, it was, it was dip. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but it was still hard. How long did it take? To write it, now looking back at it, because I wrote it two years ago, and I've learned so much more since then. And I'm just like, because <laughs> it's the first one, isn't it? Yeah, hindsight. Now I'm like, hindsight, oh, yeah. But it still come out all right. Um, writing it, I, I just went, do you know what it is? I got frustrated waiting for jobs. I got frustrated with the underground not happening because I was supposed to be in leading that. And mm. if it come out, I would have, I think, First credit. I'm going to be the You're main guy. Be in the lead. Yeah. So yeah. In a big, me, in a big yeah. show. Yeah. So then, yeah, I was under the impression I shouldn't really be doing anything, just wait for that. And then I just felt like I'd wasted so much time. And I was just, got, you know, I'm, I'm impatient as well. And I'm a, as I'm, uh, I got into this acting a bit later, mm. I ain't got time to waste. So I just, F this, I'm just going to just write my own thing. And I've watched, I've been on so many different sets, different, I've, because I'd been doing the circuit, like, obviously from the improv, I'd moved to, to work for other guys and different people. Some some things you haven't even, haven't people haven't seen yet. Mm. Um, but I've been working hard, like, on sets, filming, acting, just sitting there watching and observing everything mm. that everybody does on the set. And that was literally, what, what do you call it? That's like my... Um, Initiation or... Um... Training, training, right? training. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's my you do your homework, YTS, it? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. So yeah. I've done that for two, three years, like, and watching everything inside out. So I just I felt confident enough because I was on sets and sometimes people were directing and I'd say make a suggestion and they're like, oh yeah, you're right actually. And then when you watch after, it's like, and you think to yourself, that's because of me. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought, yeah. Or, or I how could you not see yeah, that in the first yeah, place? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I just yeah. thought, you know what? Let me try doing my own thing. Like, yeah. So I just wrote it. Um, but I st- it was two, three nights, all sorry, all, two, three days, all day and all night. I was writing to the early hours of the morning. I even put a story up saying that <laughs> I put the time there to let people know this is the time I finished, like three, wow. four in the morning. And then bang, it was done. And then for the next week, I just touched up a few things here and there. But I was just, I just wanted to get it done because people write things and then it's like nothing happens or people suggest they're going to do so. Oh, yes, do this, let's do that. No one turns up. Or yeah, yeah, I'll do that with you. Nothing happens. <laughs> it's like you look a lot. I even bought all cameras, everything like rigs. Like yeah. <laughs> I bought bare stuff. You know, <laughs> I was gonna just film it myself. I was like, you know what? I can't do everything. Yeah. Like, and then I thought, nah. I worked with one guy, Malcolm, on a, a different film called Cut from the Same Cloth. That's on YouTube as well. And he just was on it. He just, he's quite um, proactive. So I thought, yeah, let me let me just give. Then him a you shout. met Cal from the underground, oh, didn't yeah, it? That's my Cal, friend, Callum, who played. Callum, yeah, he was from the underground. Yeah, it's a good friend of mine. But um, he was on the underground as well, and yeah, he was a, yeah. he sh- he he does he he writes scripts as well. Yeah, he does. No. Um, so he Archie Wick. He mentioned something to me before about a script, and I just remembered him in my head because he, he reached out to me. I just, do you know, what I mean, if you reach out to me and you're blessed, um, and you and you seem like you're on it. Then I'll 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 mention an idea to you and, and try bring you in with something. So I mentioned it and he's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he jumped on the on the team. Um also as executive producer as well. Um so we got yeah, we got Malcolm. We got I just started building the team of people that I'd worked with on different film sets and different short films. Mm-hmm. Like the ones I f- like people that I thought were really good and I was cool with and I felt that they can fit into certain characters. I just started making phone calls around to everyone. Oh yeah, I'm doing this. You're on it, blah, blah, blah. and because it's expensive. Like mm. if I have to pay everyone big money, like on my first one, it's like it's not going to happen. No. Nah. So I had to say to him, like, it's do you know what I mean? Like we help each other out here. Do you know what I mean? Um, you get the exposure, and yeah, we try and build something because a lot of these actors are, were obviously trying to build their name up as well, and they're trying mm. to get work. It's not it's not easy getting work. Do you know what I mean? So they just like the idea and they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm in it, I'm in it, yeah. So they come, obviously I pay for travel and expenses and mm. make sure everyone's f- 
fed because you got to feed and water. You got to and you ain't got no you food. You got to feed and water, people. Starving actors, you know. You can't yeah, have starving yeah, actors yeah, and yeah, crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just know what I like in it when I go on sets. I don't want to be true. hungry or do you know what I mean? Like, mm. so I, yeah, I just had friends helping out, picking up from train stations, dropping off. I just had a just built up team of people, and everyone. Luckily, everyone started to get into it because it's a. I think it's one of the first time a film like from like sorry, independent had been done in Slough sort of okay. uh, we did it between Labrick Grove and Slough um, and I know a lot of people in Slough and, and it's just like everyone started to get wind that I was doing a film and then people just wanted to get involved and help so I had a couple of friends that were helping um, doing running on the sets and then I, I just I called certain people that I think that could fill certain roles people with confidence people that um, yeah, just I just felt that I just looked at the roles and I knew already who I had. Who you gonna put in yeah, that position? I just yeah, knew, yeah. like, who could fit those roles. There was a couple here and there where people dropped out or um, they weren't doing the rehearsals. Or if if you're not on it, then I can tell straight away, and I'm just like, like, yeah, time, 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 is money. Yeah, time, is money. Yeah, time is money. Yeah, it yeah. was. It is money, and it's like. To get you're messing other people up as well. If you're in a, a scene with people, and you just just because you got one line to say, it don't mean that you can just turn up on the day and say you want. You got to know when to get that flow and the rhythm. Mm. It's it's the team. Do you know what I mean? You're all in the scene together. They're relying on you to practice for off you as well. So it's like all that selfishness and all that. I can't be dealing with that because you know what I mean. It's not just about you. Yeah, true. true. You know what I mean, so. I understand people have never, some people have never done it before, but they got to realise this is serious. I'm trying to do this properly. Do you know what I mean? And people telling me, oh yeah, Chelsea's playing at this time. Can't you just do my scene? And then I go and I'm like, no bro, that, that's that's not how it works. Yeah, that's the only yeah. thing like bringing in people that aren't used to acting or being yeah. in the industry. Yeah, They're not, they don't realise that you could be standing there the whole day like until your bit comes, but you have to be ready, innit? Because you don't know if the scene before has gone on it's just nothing, nothing sticks to time. We can put, we can give you times, but it's not that. Don't guarantee that we're going to be doing it at that time. Yeah. Because anything can happen uh, in between. In between on yeah. other previous, that previous scene could go on for longer, two, three hours longer than what we thought. It is what it is, man. Like right, that's that's the nature of the game, isn't it? You most of the more time you're standing around waiting. So um, yeah, it's it was difficult, but. Of course, I built up the experience of working with different people and learned from different, different people. Um, then you know what? He inspired me as well because he was showing me. I like the underground, and you showed me a couple other s- scripts as well. And I was like, you know, where I was saying I'm studying everything, I'm studying everything. I'm looking at you, and I'm like, wow, this is sick. He's sick, you know. Like I'm telling you now, Adrian, you're like proper under underrated, and like he deserves to be higher than where he is. He deserves the props. But you know what? It's a, I love that. But you know, it's a journey, and it's like, how do you measure that? Because it's funny, because you get to where you think you should be, and you realize that's not happiness. What do you mean? So, so for example, yeah, my my dream as a child, yeah, this mm. is my dream. Uh, we're going back to the eighties again, yeah. My mum used to record all my stuff for me on Kodak, VHSs, whatever VHS. And she'd always stop the VHS as soon as the movie finished. This was before I took over. Mm. This is when my mum was in charge of recording on the video, on yeah, the v- yeah. v- VCR, yeah. yeah, yeah when yeah. she was VHS, in charge, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the yeah. VHS, yeah, <laughs> VCR, yeah. So she was in charge of that. And so as soon as the movie finished, the last frame of the movie, she'd stop the movie. Mm. Like, stop, you know. And I used to go mad. Like, mum, what are you doing? What are you doing? And she's like, what are you talking about? I said, mum, the credits. And she used to be like, why do you want to watch a bunch of old writing going up the screen? She didn't understand it. I said, mum, I need to know who these people are. Yeah. Now, there was no internet in them days. No. So I don't know who these people are. I don't you know remember, what... You remember the name, right? I just remember... Well, I just remember the, the, the best boy. What's a best boy? <laughs> What's a gaffer? Okay, yeah, yeah. I know di- I know kind of no camera person, DOP, I know director, producers, but what are all these roles? There's a lot of bloody writing and I need you to watch them and see. And I said, one day my name's going to be going up there. Okay. That was my dream. I said, one day my name is going to be going up the screen. And people said, oh, that will never happen. People close to me, like, what are you talking about? It's never going to happen. And I remember when we done Victim, which was obviously my first m- major credit, mm. 
And there's my name. I'm in the cinema. It's 2012, 11. And there's my name going up that screen in a cinema mm. on a movie as one of the writers. Yeah, and there it is going up. Because when I was little, I thought when that had happened, I'd be rich, mm. big car, bear gal. This, this thing about gal. But I was a kid, <laughs> innit? You know, when you're a kid, that's what you're yeah, t- yeah, When you're you and you're 15, it's just gal, innit? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, it's bear gal. I'm on a yacht. My name's going up the screen. I'm rich in my mansion. When my name was going up that screen, my relationship was breaking down. <laughs> I was getting kicked out of my yard. Yeah. I was broke. <laughs> and I said, wow, most high, God almighty. <laughs> this is deep. Yeah. But it taught me something. And it's like, yeah, I, think, I only say it because you're like, you're saying I'm not, you said I'm not where I'm not, I'm, I should be. And you're right. You're absolutely well, right. Your no, you're absolutely right. But everything is perspective. And now what I do, I appreciate what I am because I believe it's about the journey, not the destination. Because right. I think when you reach that destination, it's not always what you think it is. And I've experienced that. So what I try to do now is live in the moment. Mm. And I think I am where I'm meant to be. Although I get what you're saying because I've said that to your, myself more times mm. than you can count. I should be doing we all do that I do that but at the same time I really appreciate why I am because this journey that I'm on is the most amazing journey and if it's not for the journey I won't go nowhere anyway yeah. so for me the journey that I'm on the training that I'm getting the, the people I've met you know so this is your, your aura and your vibe and your genuine as a person do you know what I mean and that's if you wasn't like that I wouldn't even bother but you're the same do you know what I mean so that's why th- those sort of people, you, you, I think it's like you, you're destined. But you that tra- no, you, 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 as long as you got those kind of people around you, yeah. yeah. But the other people, like you two, are sat together. Those people gravitate to each other. Yeah. But that's the deep thing because of all the people in copology, I didn't think it would be you. And <laughs> I didn't. I do I, yeah, <laughs> but I didn't even think about it. But at the same time, I'm yeah. like now when I meet Junior in the flesh, mm. when I met him, mm. I said, "This brother's safe. He's just like me. Like he's a good." brother Mm -hmm. and that transcends what we do as actors and writers and producers and creatives Uh, you know that's why who we are is who we are it transcends uh, your physical Mm -hmm. or it transcends your material I should say because these things don't define us they shouldn't define us Uh, how whip you drive yeah it's nice Mm -hmm. come on we like you know but what whip you drive everybody likes that I'm not disrespecting the thing but if you strip those from you you should still be able to shine and if you can be the same person Mm -hmm. whether you've got uh, the 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 Lexus or you've got the 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 Fiesta if you Mm -hmm. can be that same person naked Mm -hmm. yeah but naked yeah or wearing the, the gooch or whatever, mm. that's the real person. Because a lot of people, they hide behind these things because yeah, these yeah. things are what give them their confidence yeah, and their confidence, armor. Yeah. It's yeah, their yeah. coke. It's, exactly it's their cocaine. Well, yeah. You strip it from them, they're not the same people. Right. You can put me in those things and take me out. I'm the same person, bro. Mm. They don't define values, me in any way. Values don't change. You, it, and the way you sh- deal with people don't change. It, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it yeah. shouldn't yeah. change you because everything comes and goes, man. Mm. And when you get in it, I'm not saying to not have it and not to appreciate it, but they come and they go, man. Mm. Ultimately, what's left when they come and go? You. Mm. And if you can stand yourself in spite of yourself and I believe in spite of those things, things like that as come well, on, bruv. Like, yeah, I just think the energy you give out is what is you what get, back. Get, what get back. Man. Yeah. And this industry is beautiful. I've been cheated. I've been, you know... Things that man couldn't do to me on the road, mm. man has done to me in business, in the industry. You could never do That's this to me on the street industry, level. It's like but on the <laughs> you think... Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. I've yeah, heard a lot about it. I've heard a lot about it. It's like but any industry, though. Yeah, yeah. You just buy, you just buy no, it. No, but, no, but the film industry is even worse. It's brutal. Film industry. Film and music. Yeah, film and music. Yeah, yeah, you have music. to buy it's it brutal. sometimes because you don't want to... But at the same time, look in the mirror as well. Because any time that I've been done a wronger, I don't blame the person, you know. Yeah, you blame yourself. I look in the mirror and say, you know what? I put myself in that. Yeah. You know, good on them. Yeah. They got away with it. Yeah. Fair play to them. Karma will be a bitch, but you know what? I don't hate them. I get better. You know, you know what? You know, I see it. Um, you know, when things like that happen, you're actually giving me good luck. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Fact. Yeah. Like, you might think you're doing something bad to yeah. you, but you're not. You're blessing you're, me. You're blessing me. Innit? You're blessing you know me. What I'm saying? Well, I've done something bad back yeah. to get that. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. So, 
I'll swallow it. Carry I'll on. swallow it and carry yeah, on. Carry and, on. And, and it's made. And I wish you yeah. well. And I gonna wish you well. Yeah. You, gonna yeah. Yeah. I wish you so well, man. Exactly. And I let it go. A lot of people are bitter in our industry. I'm, I'm, I'm very weary of bitter people. Okay. I'm very I'm weary. Far, I'm, and, and you know what? You notice as well as because I'm people saying, oh, "Well, I am new. I am new," but I'm a fast learner. And it's like you could be in the industry for so long, have been doing it 10 years but you're not that like good mm. and you could have just come in and you could be sick yeah fresh but but why does the sick one that's just come in have to wait because you haven't done 10 years no nah, like I, 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 no, I, I get it understand. it's like in football did Messi have to you know, no, but if, if I understand that. Enough, I understand that. I understand. True, I do understand that to an extent, though. I understand that to an but extent. I'm not in the industry, but I do understand it to an extent. Yeah. You know, like because like if you've been in, if you've been doing something for ten years, you built your network. You got you you can make one phone call, get this done, get that done, whatever. You know what I mean? The new guy got to prove himself, isn't it? Yeah, you, true. You know what I mean? The new yeah. you you, you have to you can't, yeah, you can't get, like you said. You know you know I look at you. Yeah? Of course, exactly like you said about. There's the a lot of gatekeepers on the gatekeepers. No, but they have to be gatekeepers. You are a gatekeeper, yeah. And your first gate you set up, you know what it was? What? It was a good gate. I, 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 I've, I, <laughs> I rate, I rate <laughs> nah, the gate. Yeah, I rate yeah, the yeah, gate. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I can write it for you, but write it and bring it back to me, and then I write it for you. Yeah, that's a gate. That's a gate. Yeah, yeah. that's a gate. And and most people didn't that's open the I'm gate. Saying. That's what I'm saying. But but oh, the percentage that you're right, come, you let yeah. them through the gate. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they have to be gatekeepers. They have to you're be. Saying they have to you're right. You're right. Some of them, some for the of them, right some reasons, but there's ones that some are there. Them are, some of them are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's right. ego and they're scared. Yeah, but they have if to be scared. If I let my cop, no, but they have to. They have to. They have to be scared. He might take the plug. No, but 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 that's where they're not that clever. Because they were clever. Now you know what they're not. They're not pure. They're not. They're not pure. They're not yeah. pure. You know someone's what I'm pure. You know someone's pure. There's a few of them that are in there. Exactly. If I know I'm pure, I've got no agenda. Yeah. Why would I give you the plug? Exactly. Because you're a, a good person. There's enough so for everybody. There's enough for everyone. The minute but you get, no, no, but the, like that, no, but the minute you get through the door, yeah, and I've I've got you in that door. Mm. Even though I had the plug, you might go further with the plug. Mm. I'll open another gate. And you're like, you're a wren. Come true. Come true. You understand? Because... Yeah. That's how it works. That's, that's how it should work. Think, though, it? That's, that's how it should think. work. But yeah, yeah, yeah. in the majority, it don't work like that. Afraid, no, but, some people, people, people but that's how it should work. You, people don't want to waste their and time. But that's what we do. And I think black people in general as well, mm. well yeah, because we need to stick together and work together. But everyone's sometimes it's afraid. Thing, yeah. Nah, I, don't, I don't even. I don't. I want to be the star. Have you guys watched? Have you guys watched? Um, I don't think it's black people. Have you guys watched? Um, I don't think I like movies that made us on Netflix. No. Oh, movies that made us. Like. That's not the one that it's they're going back the, in the it's archives. Got, it's got all the movies, and it's got um the best one. What's it? Um, I think I've seen it. There's quite a few. When they go back into the archives about the movies, different movies, different movies that yeah, how that, it came about, how they came pretty about. Woman. Yeah, I, I like saw, Pretty Woman. Yeah, I, Pretty Woman. Do, do, do the Dirty Dancing as well. Was Dirty no, Dancing no, Pretty Woman them? was like um Wolf of Wall Street, the original Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, the original book, the original script. Okay, was like Wolf. Wolf of Wall Street, the first yeah. one, yeah, yeah Michael yeah, Douglas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that. Oh, uh, Wall Street. Wall Street. Wall Street. Wall Street. Street. Yeah, yeah. So Wall it was Street. Wall Street. Yeah. yeah not okay. Wolf of Wall Street. Wall Street. Wall Street yeah. So the original Pretty Woman yeah. was Wall Street. Is it? But in this show, it shows you how it goes from Wall Street to the film we see on the screen. Wow. And then it goes, mm. the next one is Tom Hanks and, um, what's the thing called again? Um, a splash or? Nah, nah, nah. Bubba. Bubba. And what's his name? Um, oh, oh, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. So Forrest Gump. They killed, they killed the, the director, so the budget was set, yeah? The director and I were killing the studios, killing the studios, yeah? Rinsing money, big explosions, da -da -da, the money's running out. They sent the, um, the executive producer, this woman, out to go meet them. They bamboozled her and I said, yeah, look, tell the studio, da -da 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 -da. they carried on doing what they're doing. Eventually, the studio said, nah, we're not, we're not spending no more money on this. This film's done. Tom Hanks, the best movie ever made, he took his own money and funded the rest of the shoot. So the bit where he's running, that's mm -hmm. his money. Wow. There's some explosions in the jungle, I think. That's yeah. his money. Yeah? Wow. But then he took shares in the film now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that paid him more than any other film. Of course, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, Huge. But that that story there is worth watching. If that's you, deep. If you, if I'll watch it. Netflix, I love stuff like I that. I love it's still on Netflix. I, I like stuff like that, yeah. Movies that made us. Wow. Like, it's, it's not just black people. Trust me. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm yeah, just yeah, telling yeah. you. Like, you watch these films and you see, like, all the snakes and that. This person going mad at that person. The whole no, no, industry. No, gatekeepers in The whole in operation. Every, yeah, whole I'm, operation, I'm like you know? Yeah, what I'm saying is, though, in general, 
the black unity needs to be a bit stronger. Yeah, because we always, once we get, we believe that we, we haven't, we've been so starved that once we get, we think it's all mine, 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 I can't share is that, it. Is that how it is in the industry? Yeah. Well, I think that's just our mentality, period. You know, it doesn't matter if it's Jordans or the industry. <laughs> or yeah. boys, like, it's hard to find that unity sometimes, you know. We let ourselves down a lot. I think some people think there's only space for... That's what they do. One, yeah, but I've heard, I've heard that also. I've heard that also. That they, yeah. like, there's bigger gatekeepers only letting a certain amount. Yeah. They open the gate. It's like there's not just actually and Those are the designated guys. Until the, one of them yeah. does something wrong, then they bring another yeah. one. Mm. I've heard that. I've heard it's that. not just Ashley Waters. You know, there's a lot of good black actors. You know what I mean? But they'll just, it's just Ashley, just Ashley. It's Ashley. Or yeah. just Michael Ward now. Michael yeah. Ward, Michael They all Ward. jump on the one and then They jump like, on the one, yeah, but, but there's but so like, many. At the same time, there is still that track. Like you said before, these men got traction. They got traction, mm. but there's people that can't get in because, and there's roles the to going them. to one person. <laughs> it's like, you know, as good as these people are, there's other people, man. And no, uh, it's it hard for spillage. actors. There must be spillage, right? Because mm. like, from that show, I'm just going from uh, which show? The movies that made us. Oh yeah. Where you see like roles that uh, were put out there that the lead actor in a certain film wasn't even meant to be the actor in that film. Oh yeah, yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. like the roles come through. It's yeah. missed three, four people. Yeah. Hit that person. Yeah. All of a sudden, the film's gone massive. Yeah. And everybody looking at it, thinking like, oh, wow, it was made for him. But it yeah, wasn't. but it wasn't. It was written for but, somebody but in the, But the States is a different model to the UK. Okay. It's okay. a very different model. And in the UK, there's not, there's more shows now, but there was a lot of shows where, you know, a lot of black actors couldn't, it's hard. They couldn't get on. Okay. You know how much people go identity drama school and come out of there and they can't get roles. A lot of the black actors have to go to, well, you have to go to America because there's, well, a lot oh, of them have been going there. to America. Uh, Idris so is that, is that why there's a lot of them over there then? Yeah, so because they weren't getting... Oh, wow. Idris, Idris so, so wasn't getting roles here. Then blow to then come to, back and get work blow, yeah. in the country. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of the times, oh, yeah. Wow. There's a lot of Damps and Idris is over there, isn't he? Uh, Idris, Idris Elba first, he, he, he smashed it out there before he was known here. Yeah, The Wire, The Wire. Yeah, yeah. The Wire. And yeah. he couldn't get nothing here. So. They're just not writing enough for... They're doing better now. Now, now is better, but still, it's like... We also need to, as much as I like the hood stuff as well, we need to start opening up. You write a lot of different stuff, but we need to start opening up the writing and start showing cat. For example, mm. I've got locks and I've got uh, my agent will send me to something, but they will, they'll they be stereotyping me and put me only for uh, a drug de- drug dealer or someone that smokes So 80s, or, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But mm. I, can, I can play a doctor as well, you of know? Of course you can. You can have a doctor with locks. Of course you they can. Don't betray that. They exist, Of course they? you can. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. this is what we need to start showing a lot more of, mm. just because, just to build up the generation of youths, that's to give them an idea that there is other avenues of mm. life and work that you can progress into rather than just shot in. Like that... Obviously, mm. that is a story, but, nah, but it you know, just seems nah, but to the be... Reason, nah, but the reason, I'll tell you the reason for the shot and, and all that is the biggest grossing. Yes. You know what I mean? Scarface, yeah. Scarface, anything gangster, anything shot and, anything like that, even in the music, yeah, yeah. it's you're, the biggest grossing. You're right. So like, the studios want to see that. They're like, the or, not the studios, the audience, the audience do want to see it. that. You know, so that's why but, there's, there's going to be but more of is that. It, is that because that's all that they've been That's showing? all they're being fed. That's all they're being fed. Because you're right. You think that you can change their perception? Of course. Yes. I mean, to a degree. Because, right. I mean, the, the film going ages, if you're talking 18 to 30s, so, you know, that demographic, a lot, they love the top boys and and that kind of life. But at the same time, we are more uh, aspiring than no, that. You know, you know, and I, there's I, room. There's I'll, room. I'll touch on that as well. You know the golden age? You mentioned the golden age before. They were, you're right. There was variety. There was variety. Mm. Massive variety. Yeah. Like, even from the Cosby show to... Um, Which you, is you a guys fluent go middle class. As, like, um, Eddie Murphy's like... Um, what's the, yeah, I do. What's the, what's the thing called again? Um, where, um, trading places. You got trading places. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. big. Yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's another one. Boomerang. Boomerang. Come on. Boomerang. Yeah, and, of course. and then, um, what's the other one? It's a gangster comedy. Harlem Nights. Or yeah. Harlem, yeah. Harlem Nights. Yeah. 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 But so there's a variety. Like, the variety. The, the variety. Boomerang had nothing to where's do with the love, Where's the Love Jones? Yeah. And, exactly. and, and, I'm, and exactly. I'm writing with a, a brilliant di- director called Atosha Hilton. And uh, the stuff we're doing, I'm going to do, it's got no, there's no one gets stabbed in it. Yeah, no one gets killed in it. No one gets stabbed in it because there is a, a look. I've written, you know, you saw, you know, I've written that stuff. Of course, I have, but there's stories that I'm doing that have got nothing to do with that as well, because we can't just be about that. But we're not about that. 
You no, know what no, I mean? Like, we, yeah, you're right. Writing, writing, we like, can't what be showing is... the world or no, but showing you... the UK that's, that's, what that's, we, that's we, all we're about. Because there's people that live in Cornwall and all that. They don't really act. They're not really around black people. And then... That's and that's their, that's their perception. Yeah, yeah, and we're yeah, gonna yeah, continue to There's a place for it, but I'm just saying is if let a youth do it, someone of my age shouldn't always be doing that because No, you can do it. My, you can do it well, but at the same time, like you like you said, you have you have you have the yeah. basically my 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 perception of it is you should write about what exists. Absolutely. Relevant. And these people exist. Of course. Every like you said, every black person is not a drug dealer. Fucking, exactly. You know, trapper. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. There, there, there's people that are aspiring to do all kinds of stuff and there's, do, there's, there's surgeons out there with dreads. Exactly. Yeah. They exist. Of course <laughs> they do. It's not like they don't exist. You know? yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. our storytelling should be reflective should, of should be yeah. reflective yeah. of everything. Yeah. That's not disrespecting anyone that does that because there's yeah. a role for that as well. Mm. But we can't just be that. Yeah. And then you make a mockery of it. So we, it becomes comedy. Well, it, be, yeah. it, be, it become oversaturated. Anyway. It's oversaturated, it's been, it's exactly. It probably is already. It you know is, long time. Was really good. So it's, uh, Go I was chatting to my friend the other day and um, about similar sort of subjects. And you know what was sick? Lenny Henry's chef. Is it? You, ever see, you never seen Chef? I didn't watch it. You never no. saw Chef back in I the day? Did, I think I did. Oh, my days. Was it back in the day? Yeah, yeah, but it's about two chefs. Yeah. Done a whole show, like, but Lenny Henry like, would do stuff like that. But like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, Lenny Henry, he was a different, different kind of character. Yeah, he yeah. was a bit. I, more... I watched something else. Um, I think it's a massive film still. Which one? Lenny Henry, he was a genie. Oh, is a it Christmas film? Is it? I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> I swear to God, I can see him as a genie. Ron Atkinson's in it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Ron yeah, Atkinson yeah. runs an art gallery. He's great. He's and then there's <laughs> I can't remember the, the other lead actor, who um Ron Atkinson is a bad guy. Yeah, he fires him. And then he ends up with a lamp. I know how did he get that lamp? <laughs> he rubs the lamp, <laughs> and then Lenny Henry comes to. He's a genie now. Yeah, yeah? but like eighties London. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's big film. I put, I'm, I'm going to put it in the video. I can't remember the name. But I put it in. The, yeah, in, put it in. When I edit it, yeah, yeah, worth, yeah. Worth yeah to watch. But like that, that era. I, I like that yeah. era. Nothing can touch it. Nothing can. Yeah, touch right it. now it's just about. And if you're going to do it, do it well. You know, one of my favorites was Blue Story, but I loved that because it was a movie. You know, and what Ratman did with that, I think, was genius. You know, I've, there's stuff I won't mention that is just not good, mm. but that I think was such a good story. And it, like, as much as I'm trying to say we should go away from all this, what we're writing at the moment in terms of the TV series, it's closer to that than but, it is Love Jones. But <laughs> no, but the, the, what but I like about it is because it shows there's so many things in it that haven't been shown. Oh, it's yet. a story, done. it's a true story. There's so many things within that. Yeah. That hasn't been shown. Like I don't know whether we're, we're not, I don't really want to. No, we're not yeah. over. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but what we're doing, in there no, that I haven't seen. We're touching on yeah stuff that is that we're gonna expose and yeah, it's it's, I mean? it's Just real subjects, themes and certain subjects in there that I'd never get talked. Yeah, about. and real things that people go through and that mm. we're turning to taboo around what we're doing with that one. Yeah, you know, like that grooming and. What happened to the character? Yeah. That kind of things. It's not talked about. And you the know? actual characters that were doing it. Exactly. I've never seen that. Before. I've never seen okay. it. Obviously, it happens. Yeah, oh yeah, it happens if a lot. Road, you know that. Yeah, yeah. no yeah. one's going to be no shocked. Anything, on... Anything's possible. Yeah. Anything's possible. You won't be shocked, but you'll be like, rah. And uh, Middle England might be a bit shocked, mm. but you won't be shocked. But it'll yeah. be like, it's not something that we're telling stories because it's not it's the status real quo. Drama, real, real stuff. Yeah, it's not yeah. the status quo. You're not supposed right. to tell it like that, you know. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's an exciting project that, that yeah. we're trying to get on, on its on its way. On its way, man. Yeah, well, the, well hard, on, really. the hardest part is to get the financials and the everything in place in place right, to make sure that it looks created the, the quality. Best of its, the quality. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, we have to like, yeah, best yeah. of its ability because it's an amazing story. So, mm. um, yeah. especially well, if we direct the pilot, what we'll do. <laughs> Yeah, you want to? We have to direct it. We, we know just it. a it's pilot, like though. I don't want to direct the whole thing. Just a pilot. Just, just a, a pilot. pilot. Yeah, because yeah. obviously there's going to be different episodes, and yeah, yeah. It, might, it might be like a you know, EastEnders have different directors. No, I mean, I mean, all, a lot, a lot, a lot, all, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of top boy did. Yeah. They all yeah, do. A lot, a lot of series do. They all so do. It'd probably be different good directors, to do that. and yeah, we know some great directors. But I, I wouldn't want to. I'm not speaking for you, but I'm not that kind of person. Like I've directed the one that I had done during COVID. Uh, the short film I did silent films but I'd done it based on technology mm. and how because everybody in COVID was on their technology mm. and getting away from humanity I believe so I created this me and my partner Alexi mm. 
uh, Mel and I created these short films called the Time and Tech series. It's about your time and your tech and how technology takes over your time. And I wrote, we wrote, I wrote five of them, but I only directed one of them because okay. I didn't want to direct the others. I wanted other people. I like all the perspectives. I of, want other people's yeah, perspectives. Yeah, yeah, I don't cool. want my own. I know my own. Why do I want you my own all day already. long? Why do you want to keep? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, so good, the good. one that I did direct, I really dived into though. A deep dive with the color charts and just how I saw it visually, and you know that was an amazing experience. But I do know that I don't want to direct everything. I love directing. It's time consuming. Yeah. It can take years of your life. Uh, I love it, but I don't want to do it all. I, there's people better than me, I believe, and I like. I'm excited by other people. Yeah. I don't always excite myself, you know. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, we're gonna we're gonna come to a close. Uh huh. But before we go, I want to know what's your top three films? Not films, films or series. I can give you that because I do this a lot, man. Okay, what's your top three? Right, and I don't change. You change. All right, so this mine is, is lot, yeah, man. but you gotta let me have one that is like so Godfather one and two, but that's gotta be one film. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's gotta fine, be that's one fine, film. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We can, we can right. do that. Go on. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. And I think Once Upon a Time in America. Okay. I'm a top three. No series in there, no. Game of Thrones is. But it's not better than no, it's Once not. Upon a Time in America or no, The Good, no. The Bad, and The Ugly and, no. and The Godfather. If you know the director, Sergio Leone, yeah, yeah. Francis Ford Coppola, uh, who liked one of my comments the other day. It's my claim to frame. Yeah. On Instagram. But you know that can happen, innit? it? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It can happen. Yeah, so it's not that time. great, but no, no, but Ford it, it, Coppola. Is great. It is great. You know why? He likes Because the they think. went out of it exactly. <laughs> Well, exactly. he liked what I said about one of Don't these matter. films or something. I said something and Francis Ford nah, Coppola said, like, click like. And I was like, whoa, that. Francis Ford Coppola like my, that's my claim to fame. Hold <laughs> on, man. De Niro. <laughs> Talk about yourself. Freeze. Top oh, three. Oh, man. Like I said, I like the gangster movies, but I liked all the um, American 90s when it was really in its pomp, all the, all the black movies in America in the 90s for the Jews, the men in societies, to mm. dead presidents. You got I love that. You, you, you What's your top film? three, man? I, I, I don't know. know what I'm about to say. I love how he's skirting around <laughs> yeah, I know. it. Man, I know. He's skirting around the thing, you know. What's your top three? One and two, definitely. Is, mm. is, is that, but like you say, has to go as a separate entity. And then Scarface. Oh, yeah, what a film. Um, and you know what? I'm just going to chuck in a, a series just to be... I'll say The Wire series. I've never seen all of The Wire. It's nah. sick, man. Now you got to watch that. I saw season one and two and a, and a half or two and then... Oh, what, The Wire? It, man. Yeah. yeah, The Wire's hard. The hard, oh, it is hard, uh, but I just didn't... Yeah, it's sick. Nah. I want to. I don't know why I haven't. I want to. Uh, it's so good. hard. It's good. So, yeah. Yeah, those are films, those are things I can keep watching over and over again, so... Okay. Godfather 1 and 2, man. Good, the Good, The Bad so, and The Ugly. Have you seen that? Yeah, I've seen that. Well. Oh, I've my seen that, God. Seen <laughs> what a film! There's loads of, there's loads that of film's upside down. Who's <sighs> the good? Who's the bad? Who's it? Who's that's the one, one, isn't it? No, because but who is? Which one is? Well, the good is obviously Clint, oh, even really? though he's not always good. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to say. He's not yeah. a good guy. But it's definitely not Lee Van Cliff. He's not the good. He's not the good. <laughs> he's the ugly. No, he's the I bad. He's the, he's the bad. Now he's a bad. Yeah. Tuco's the ugly. Tuco's so, ugly, but uh, Tuco's still Eli not Wallet. Tuco's not a bad guy, is he? He's not, man. He's, he's not sweet. a bad guy. He's sweet. Right. No, he's bad, you know. He left my man to die. <laughs> he would have he left Clint. If Clint never knew, well, if if Blondie didn't know where that half of... I would have left him, yeah. yeah. He would have yeah, left, left, left him. He would have yeah. made him bud out in the desert. <laughs> yeah, but it was a game, but it was a game, though, isn't it? That <laughs> what a film, man. No, no. Oh, my God. Where's the days, though, isn't it? Let me ask... Yeah. I've got another question. Oh, man. Quick fire question. First time I'm dropping it. I'm gonna drop it going forward now. Whatever you get. We're the guinea pigs, man. Let's do it. But it's good. It's good. Yeah. I've seen it online, so it's yeah. not like anything unique. You know, it's just <laughs> At least you're honest. I, like, I like the question. At least you're honest. Like At least you're honest. So quick fight. Well, it's not gonna be quick fight. <laughs> one person's gonna answer. The other one's gonna have time to think. You know what I mean? It's I gonna be like, like the draw. It's <laughs> gonna be like the trio <laughs> in the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, the trio. Yeah, yeah. That's different. Round the great. Now nah, I let you know. goes first. So how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you met yourself in your teenage years. In three words, what do you tell yourself? Knowing what you know now. Keep going, fool. <laughs> Don't get distracted. Done. Love it. That's <laughs> Done. good. Done. 
That's it. That's it. That's it. That was sick. Thank you very much, guys. Brother, that was sick, yeah. man. Pleasure having you. Man, respect, man. Yeah. I didn't you. prepare for that at all. Man. I didn't even know. Guys, <laughs> please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So we're going we're getting more views than we've got subscribers. We've got a lot more views than subscribers. So if you're watching it and you're following the content and you, you're rocking with us, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's good for the algorithm. Um, thank you very much for watching. See you soon.